<laughs> Alright, so so I did train with Crockett a little bit like preseason and stuff, and the kid was kind of barking, but he wasn't performing as good as I thought he could in the beginning of the season. So I come tonight, the first race I come to, and Crockett just, just fucking pulls a dub, dude. So I just want to know why you think tonight was your night. Dude, I don't know. After the first main, dude, I was like kind of down in the dumps. Uh, shout out to that guy back there. Um, I was down in the dumps. I was back row, main one. Uh, so I was kind of kind of in the slumps, but I uh, went through all my tear offs in like three laps. Kind of just rode around in the back the whole moto. I think I finished 10th. So we go back yeah, out. That the... wasn't a real impressive ride. No. Dude, it was actually impressive because it's so hard to pass back there. You can't see. I was out of tear offs. Both my dude. nostrils are clogged. I mean, Especially it's... the track, too. Like everything I feel like kind of sort of funneled into like. I'm, I'm, the whoops and everything like kind of formed probably into like the same line and shit. And... Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna stop talking because I'm drunk. So just keep not, not to mention what y'all can't see on TV is the rocks and the whoops. So there is literally like, it was like they said on there perfectly, like one, two, three, four rocks, and we were splitting them every lap. Nobody was hitting them except for me because I'm behind the guy. And every lap I would smoke a rock, get hairy, almost crash. But anyway, second main, went up to the gate, put some new goggles on, dirty helmet, dirty boots, ran the thing. Pulled the start, three for three on start from the front row, so that feels good. And uh, pretty much just walked away with it, man. That's, that's how it is. Um, I was kind of worried about the bike not making it, but she held strong and uh, we landed on the top seven of the podium, man. The thing is, like, I feel like some people are going to say, like, you got a little bit lucky or whatever, so because you were in the front row, but you literally had the fastest lap times out of everybody for the entire race. So it's, nice. it's not just that shit. So, yeah, I'm just super stoked for my God. Dude. Yeah, no, it was legit. I was getting a tough three in every lap that I could. Yeah, the um, table one right there. Yeah, that thing yeah. was hairy, that dude. Shit was he, I mean, the turn was straight V'd, and then it kind of went back and forth, and you would just sit into it. And I was making it. Pretty much every lap came came up short a few times, but uh, we rode it yeah, out, man. You came up real short a couple <laughs> times. A couple times, but uh, no, nah, it was it was a good night, man. I'm stoked to land on the top seven of the podium, so it's sick, man. Amazing, proud of my guy over here. My sponsors. You. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta thank your sponsors. Yeah, my sponsors, man. You uh, gotta thank me too. I'm like I'm actually talking into this thing like it's a mic. Uh, it is a mic. <laughs> no, I'd like to thank. I give it all up to the glory of God, man. I mean, it was an incredible night. Everything lined up perfectly. It's all due to him. Um, the EBR, Ajax, Husqvarna, all those guys, they're they're killing it for me. Pirelli tires, Fly, Bill's pipes. Um, you know, everybody, man. ODI. Um, <laughs> That's a phone call directly from Razzles yeah, for you. Directly, man. Nah, it's back to work for me. But They're, called, dude, they're only calling me because they know I'm around Crockett Myers <laughs> right now. Everybody, man, it's all on the bike. I, I got no words right now. It was an incredible night. Thanks to everybody who's behind me. You guys are greatly appreciated, man. Couldn't do it without you guys. Fun, fun my race. That's a huge one. Thank you, guys. Jonathan. My grandparents, man. Everybody. Thanks, guys. I'm fucking.